Hi friends, today I will teach you fibroepithelial polyp. The other name of this polyp is skin tag or soft fibroma or the fibroma pendulum. It is also known uh, well known by its another name that is acrocordon, right? So all these are name of single entity. So let's start the discussion on the skin tag. So what will be the microscopic finding of the, of this skin tag? The name itself suggests it's a fibroepithelial polyp. A polyp means edematous mucosa. So here there will be outward projection of the skin that is polyp. Epithelium is obviously stratified squamous epithelium of the skin. And the fibril means there will be presence of fibrosis. So first uh, there will be present of lining epithelium. The skin looks like growing outward, right? So this is the lining epithelium, that is the skin lining. It's a stratified squamous epithelial lining, right? Usually such a polyp is having the fibrovascular core and there will be presence of a very loose collagen beneath the lining epithelium. So here you can see that uh, collagen is very loose. Uh, this is the collagen, right? So it's uh, very loose. Uh, we can say that there will be presence of uh, dermis edema. There will be dermal edema. So the stroma is edematous. And there will be presence of proliferated vessels, uh, capillaries in the stroma. So that are the microscopic findings. Now you have to remember that uh, lining epithelium usually show the hyperkeratosis, right? So here is the presence of hyperkeratosis. Uh, there will be obviously present of hyperkeratosis in such skin tag. And you can see that uh, stroma is very loose. Just see, it's a myxoid loose stroma. We cannot say myxoid, but it's a very loose trauma, right? Uh, there might be presence of scanty inflammation as well sometimes. Uh, these are the other fields uh, that showing loose trauma. So that is regarding the histopathological finding of fibroepithelial polyp. Now what's the treatment? Uh, usually it's a pure benign condition, right? So nothing to worry if you have the skin tag. But for the cosmetic reason, we are doing the excision. Usually the treatment is a simple surgical excision. Which are the common sites of this uh, skin tag? Uh, the common site for development involves the face, uh, then neck, then eyelids, then your mouth, uh, that then can be a glance penis. So these are the common sites, right? Uh, the common site is a uh, neck. Uh, usually it uh, might be associated with uh, metabolic syndrome. It can be associated with metabolic syndrome. So patient can have diabetes mellitus. Uh, it can have hypertension. It can have high cholesterol, right? So that can be associated. So you can take the history regarding the hypertension, you, regarding the high cholesterol, diabetes, etc. So these are the microscopic finding. Uh, again, I am summarizing. You have to look for the lining epithelium. The skin looks like that of uh, growing outward, right? So it's a fibroepithelial polyp. There will be presence of hyperkeratosis in the lining epithelium. Uh, here you can able to see the hyperkeratosis, right? Uh, the stroma is very loose. So we can say there will be dermal edema. And this uh, polypoidal lining is covered by is lined by fibrovascular core. So these are the features. Lining epithelium is like that of skin, fibrovascular core, and the collagen is loose. So this is regarding the fibroepithelial polyp. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of this simple fibroepithelial polyp. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and Press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I am posting the new video. Thank you very much.